my goodness, I did not know you was here. But guess what? We're back, baby. We're doing Ballin' on the Budget once again. The only show in probably the whole YouTube universe that shows you how to basically ball on a budget as far as video games are concerned. So what are we talking about here? First off, let me tell you something. I am the OG. I have been playing video games for as long as I can remember. Oh my goodness. I've been playing video games for a long, long time. I didn't even think about that. Anywho, Bowling on a Budget is back, okay? We're going to show you video games that can be had for 20 bucks or less and a very worthwhile additions to your collection. Bowling on a Budget, baby. You know how we do things. Bowling on a Budget, saving all the money, saving all the money, Bowling on a Budget. Hold on one second. I got a phone call. I just got my new cellular phone. You know how us OGs do, we try to stay current. Yeah, what's up? The show is about to start, baby. That's right, we about to save you some money. We about to ball on a budget. You know how we do. Balling on the budget, saving all the money, saving all the money, balling on the budget. Get a logic show. You sons of bitches. Hey, what's good? Get a logic show. Video games, baby. Video games were still boiling on a budget. Heading back to the lab. Three new games. Hot. You must have. Get a logic show, baby. You know how we do things. Boiling on a budget. Boiling on the budget. Saving all the money. Saving all the money. Yeah. Busting. JB. JB. Keep busting. Ha, ha, ha. What's back? JB, JB. Game plan. We don't stop. 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 Rip. Ripping up. Bust. Busting. Busting back. Set it off. Tenth round. And still catching mad beat down. So I retreat back. Set it off. Tenth round. And still catching mad beat oh, down, so, so I retreat genie. back. I hate up. bosses like tenth round. Uh. And still catching mad beat down, so I retreat back to my old stomping ground. Regroup and loud. Balling on a budget, saving all the money. Balling on a budget, saving all the money. Balling on a budget, saving all the money. The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. We don't need the water. Let the muck. Oh my goodness, I did not know you guys were still there. I'm sorry, I just got excited. I'm happy to be back doing Bowling on a Budget. Quick recap, Bowling on a Budget is about video games that can be purchased for 20 bucks or less. Okay, that's an important part. However, they're not just crappy games, they're actually good games. Games that you should play, add to your collection, and at least, you know, at the very least, rent it and play it before you leave this planet, okay? Why all the old school material? You're probably wondering it, because you know it's a Kazelle. Official, son. Official. Okay. Got the track suit on. Okay. And also, the shell tops, you cannot see those. Okay, because I'm not going to take the camera and point it down to my feet. I'm not going to do that. Okay. However, the reason why we're doing this is because I spoke to my boy. Okay, my boy, he's like the scientific bookworm type. Okay, and he was like, yo, done. You gonna do your show again? You know what I'm saying? Because I was feeling that. I was feeling the flavor that you was giving me. And I was like, yeah, no doubt I'm gonna do it again. And he was like, listen, I got an idea for you, son. Okay, why don't you put a whole different twist up on it, you know what I'm saying? And go ahead and like time travel. I'm like, done. What are you talking about time travel? Who the hell can do time travel? Needless to say, this cat is smarter than what I thought. Cause he was like, yo, done. Just ring me, let a brother know, and I'll transport you to the era that you want to go to. I'm like, you wanna transport me to the era that I wanna go to, done? He's like, word life, I'm gonna take you there, son. So I'm like thinking, and I'm like running to the stuff in my head, I'm like, all right, all right, all right, let's do Coleco Vision. He was like, yeah, past burger time, that was kinda corny. I was like, true, true that, true that, true that. I was like, yo, let's do that the, the, the Atari 2600. Done, that was like my favorite all time thing. And he was like, yeah, because it was the only video game system on the market at the time. And that was corny too, because it was like a little kid uh, created characters with Legos. 
not Legos, uh, light breaks. And I was like, all right, true that, true that, true that. And I was like, yo, done, done, done. Can we like just go hardcore and do like the original Neo Geo, with those big fat super cartridges that was about this big, had to get a crane to put them in, you know what I'm saying? But it was just like the arcade cabinet games. He was like, yeah. But son, you know only basically drug dealers had that because the, the system was insanely expensive back then. I was like, and the carts too, that was like $1.99 per cart. You got the true experience, but yeah. I was like, true, that's true. And then he turned around to me and he was like, yo, done, I got it, I got it. I was like, come on, speak, politic with my brother, politic. He was like, listen, give me a call, I'm gonna send you back to that hot era. I'm like, hot era, son? Well, what era is that? He was like, do you remember the Sega Saturn? I was like, oh no, you did not! You did not say the Sega Saturn! Came out in 1995 with those crazy commercials that I'm playing in the background right now. He was like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. He's like, just buzz me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna hook you up, because I got the Quantum Leap Flux Capacitator that's gonna take you where you need to go. Now, since we're in the middle of the show, and I've just spent a lot of time talking, and to keep you from hitting that pause button and going to another video, I'm gonna give that knucker a call. You know what I'm saying? You know how we do things here. Got the cell phone prepared and ready. Yeah, I said it's yo, that was the system, done. What's up? Yeah, I'm in the middle of doing the show right now. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, that's what's up. Yo, can, can you hear me now? I'm, yo, son, this phone. I'm glad you told me to get a cell phone. This is banging, son. What the hell is all that Android stuff on their phone, son? Phone call in, phone call out. You know how we do things. All right, so all I have to do is hit 555, five, five, one, two, one, two. Okay, I should use the bathroom first? What's that all about, son? Alright, alright. Listen, I gotta get back to the show. I gotta do my thing. Son, just make sure, L listen, I don't want to go to Saturn. I want to go to the time period of the Sega Saturn. Can you do that for a brother? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, go down, go down. I am ready, sir. Son, I don't have to take a doodle or nothing, man. Come on, what, what the hell is gonna happen? All right, all right, cool, I got you. All right, people, we're on our way. We're going to Sega Saturn Land, okay? Basically, this is an open letter to Sega because there are three games, okay, that Sega has not made basically a good part two to, okay? And those three games, well, let's get there first, all right? So, five, five, five. Oh, sh oh, my goodness! <laughs> what the hell? <sighs> Damn. Ooh, what's that smell? Ooh. I'll be right back. I'm gonna start the show in a second. I just gotta use some facilities. Hopefully 1995 tissue ain't as scratchy as I thought it was. I'll be right back. Peace. <laughs> yeah, 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 I made it. That's what's up. That's hotness, son. 95. Yo, this is beautiful, baby. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm doing the show right now. Now, how do I get back? No. Done. Stop playing. How do I get back? Yo, I don't think you realize what's happening right here. I'm in New York City, Giuliani is just starting his reign of terror. I know he can't say 911 uh, yet. I know he can't say that. Yeah, but still, I don't want to be around. He basically arrested people and cops running around talking about Giuliani. Yo, let, let me get back to the show. How do I get back? Just dial 666. What the heck is wrong with you, son? Alright, whatever. Let me get back to the show, please. Alright, so, we're here in 95, special thanks to the v4pro.com team for getting me here. Okay, so, what's going on in 95? Most importantly, Sega 
on September 9th launch what could be arguably one of their best systems to say the set. Um, CD based um, basically made sure that everybody stopped playing around with the SNES and the Genesis. Um, what really made uh, this system so amazing was um, two things. First thing was it allowed you to go online. Not so much as the battle people, but to get online. Okay, just to give you a little bit of history, I built my first website using the Sega Saturn with the keyboard attachment um, on angelfire.com. So the Sega Saturn basically launched this pulling on the budget. So we're going to have to cover three of those Sega Saturn games. Okay, and the first game that I want to talk about is Nights into Dreams. Okay, this. Strangely enough, since I don't like platformers, I got a demo disc, I believe from Toys R Us, played it, and the next day, I was in the store picking up Nights into Dreams, okay? This game was amazingly fun, okay? It's got a very tight storyline, okay, and I'm not going to give that away. It had some of the better bosses, meaning, not too hard to beat. But then again, not too easy to be, okay? It had a banging soundtrack. In fact, you can probably get the game for 20 bucks or less used, but the soundtrack will probably cost you about 40 bucks, the official soundtrack tonight, okay? I actually used some of those songs in a couple of mixes, believe it or not. All right, so what made this different and what made it the same? Okay, like I said, kind of like a Sonic clone except that he could fly okay not only did you collect rings however you flew through rings okay um the bad thing about this game is nobody ever revisited nobody ever did if you go online right now there are probably thousands of fan clubs of people waiting for Sega to release night 2 there's fan videos everything okay but, like I said, this is a very fun game, okay? It's one of those games that if you have a Sega Saturn up in the closet or you come across one at a garage sale, you get it for about 10 bucks. Um, actually, I'm going to add some links to the bottom of this. I'm going to shop around for you via eBay and Amazon to see if I can find one cheap for you. Hopefully 20 bucks or less so I can stay with the routine, okay? But the actual game itself, you can pick up used across the world probably for about 20 bucks or less. Um, like I said, one of the games that you must play before you leave this planet, okay? Sega. Sega. You're not making hardware anymore. You think you might dedicate just a few moments to getting uh, the, AM2, the AM2 team back together again so they can uh, get this uh, taste out my mouth? You know, because I'm craving some nights too. I'm craving it, baby. I'm craving like a White Castle hamburger. You gave me one. I need more than one. You know what I'm saying? You need more than one White Castle to survive. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I'm going to roll the clip. You go ahead. I'll be right back. I'm going to see what trouble I can get into in 1995. Bust the bust! You got a new album out, don't you? I know you do. I know you do. Check it out. Here go the clip. Right here!
Yep, I just got back into town. I'm saying I just figured I'd look you up, see what's going on, how you feeling. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I figured maybe we can catch a movie tonight. Uh, Devil in the Blue Dress is playing. Oh, we can see leaving Las Vegas. Uh, you want to see what? Waterworld? Yeah. I would trust me on this one and not go see that. Yeah, I know, I know. He's a hot actor and I know, I know. Yeah, I would just say let's bypass the whole water world thing. Hey, but you know what? We can go get a bite to eat. If you say Charlie's if you want. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, listen, I'm in the middle of the show. I'll call you right back, all right? All right, you know, you know how we do things. All right, peace. You know, you guys should say something when you come back. Just a word or two to let me know that you're around. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's really cool when you know the weaknesses, you know, ahead of time. And you go back in time and then you can play off. Okay, anyway. All right, so we went through nights. Now, what is the second game that Sega really needs to revisit? Okay. We're talking about Sega Saturn stuff here. No, they've already done Virtual Fighter. They're up to five. Okay. Um, no, actually, let's talk about a very little known game that actually may save a lot of money in the arcades, which would be Virtual On! Robots that slide and fight across this arena, but it's a fighting game, and you know that I love fighting games. However, Sega did not see fit to make a two, even though I myself must have pumped a year's worth of uh, pay into those machines on Broadway and uh, off of 42nd Street just to play Virtual One. It's really cool, tight mechanics, very well balanced characters, and again, there is nothing cooler than having a bunch of mechs fighting across the screen. Okay. Um, yeah, again, we're talking about the AM2 team. Okay, Sega, you need to take these people out of retirement. Once again, you're not doing hardware anymore. You've got time on your hands, okay? Um, Virtual On, like I said, very different type of fighting game. Um, the only thing I really wish is that they would have made a Giuliani robot so that I could go through that. Yeah, yeah get the point. Um, I'm just gonna roll a clip with the gameplay. Again, this is, if you've never played Virtual On, I believe that it's available on Xbox Live, okay? So, therefore, I don't know if it's two-player or not, okay? I would just really like an updated version, okay? So, therefore, I'm looking for Virtual On 2, okay? But, um, there's really no need to really go around and search again. I'll put links at the bottom of this if you want to actually purchase it because you have a Sega Saturn collecting dust and for some strange reason beyond me, you never picked it up. But, um, yeah, this is one of those games that you should play at least once before you leave this planet. Um, Sega, I'm tired of asking you the same thing, okay? Knights and Virtual On, what is the problem? What is the problem? Sega, falling on the budget. Give me virtual on too. All right, check this out. I'm gonna show the clip right now. Um, yeah, virtual on, definitely. You, you gotta at least play this. Um, let me know, somebody write in and let me know if it's actually uh, live enabled on Xbox Live, um, which will make it super duper fun. Really, really. Um, yeah, I just uh, was looking at the news, and now I no longer have a taste for cigars. Thank you very much, Mr. Bill Clinton. Okay, I did not know that people, I thought that would make the hoo-ha kind of hot, you know, because tobacco kind of burns, kind of. That's nasty. It's nasty. All right, let's show the clip. First show on, Mega Giuliani Robot. If you do it again, just call it 911. He won't mind.
could you please stop playing? I've got to get home. Yes, I'm at, yeah, I saw her. Yo, she looks hotter than what I remember, son. Oh my goodness. Mm. The years have basically not helped her out too much. However, we are in the here and now. You know how, you know how we do. I'm saying, though, yo, that's right. Yo, the tunnel is pumping. And Latin quarters. Yo, no doubt. No doubt. Yo, could you stop playing? Because I'm almost finished the show and I kind of want to get home. Just leave me here for a couple hours. And you know how we do, baby. All right. See, they back again, man. I told you. They just pop up. Damn. I'll speak to you. Alright, so we're back, okay? And I'm gonna tell you guys again. Could you at least knock on your computer screen and let me know that you're back? Okay, before y'all catch me doing something that I'm not supposed to be doing? You know what I'm saying? Anywho! Okay, yeah. We just left virtual on. And I'm thinking mechs, warriors, combat, gun griffin. Created by Gen Arts, for ones I can't blame AM2. But this game was freaking awesome, okay? I mean, come on. If you play video games, who has never had the fantasy of climbing into a mechanized machine and fighting a war on your own? Come on, there's nothing better than that. The feeling is stupendous, okay? You have to remember, I like war stuff. I mean, it's not just because I served in the Navy, okay? Um, but yeah, I mean, back in the Genesis days, I love 688, 688 attack stuff, as well as M1 Abrams Battle Tank, okay? These games gave me hours of, I can't say mindless, but it gave me hours of enjoyment. Um, very simplistic games. However, Gun Griffin, on the other hand, was fun. I mean, you got into this mechanized robot, okay, and I think I used to hold the joystick in my hand and walk through the house like this as if I was a mechanized machine, okay? But you know what? The game is fun, okay? Again, one of those things that if you look around, and I'm gonna try to find you some links, you can find it for 20 bucks or less if you already have a Sega Saturn that's collecting dust, and for whatever strange, bizarre reason you've never played it, now would be a good time to dust that puppy off, get the disc, and play. Gun Griffin will give you hours upon hours of enjoyment. Now, this is the thing, okay? Usually when we do Born on a Budget, one of the things that we like to touch on is the online play. Non-existent, non-existent, not happening, okay? That's why I picked these games, because um, Nice in the Dreams, as well as Gun Griffin, are basically one-player games. You can enjoy them. You will get hours of entertainment out of them. You will revisit it, okay? I can guarantee that you will revisit it, okay? Whereas Virtual On is two-player, so basically as long as you have another controller, you can probably go find one um, either at a yard sale, Amazon, or um, basically in some thrift store. You can probably find an extra controller, invite your people over, and get busy with some Virtual On. However, I lost track, as I do in most of the clips that I do for YouTube, um, we are still talking about virtual, I mean, uh, no, Gun Griffin, yeah, see? Mechs just get all mixed up with me, because I just love mechanized machines. You give me a mechanized machine, I'll come through your hood, son! I will come through your hood! Alright, just go like this. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I'm saying, Gun Griffin was, like I said, I suggest that you go ahead and buy it if that's a possibility, meaning that you actually get the hardware, which would be the Sega Saturn. Um, however, play it once before you leave this planet, okay? And if you don't agree with me, please write me back and let me know. You know what I'm saying? Let me know. Check this out. I'm going to just run this little gameplay clip as well as... Uh, Talk to my boys because I got to get up out of here because I was just, you know, over in the street, you know, taking care of business and cops ran up talking about some quality of life crime. I'm talking about son, you P2, what's the problem? And then he just like took the nice stick out, like, Bleh! so 
You know, because I forgot, 95 is a little bit crazy, baby. All right, but check this out. Let me go ahead and run the, run, you know, run the clip. I'm going to go check out some people that I missed from back in the day. You know what I'm saying? And you enjoy the clip. I'll be right back. All right, peace. Oh yeah, that's it, baby. That's it, yeah. That's right, get all that juice out of there. That's right, get all that juice in there. That's right, mix that shit up good. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, I can't wait to bust open that can. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. What's up? It's been a long time since I had wireless juice mix. You know what I'm saying? So I figured I'd just mix up something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nothing like a little wireless juice mix to wet the whistle, baby. Mmm, delicious. So, that's the show, okay? We've actually dug into what I like to call the archives of video game in history, and we're still boiling on a budget. Um, now I've got to get away from the camera, get back to my time so I can get on a computer and go ahead and... Um, put those links up so once again we're born on a budget um hopefully next episode we'll get back to the our comfort zone which would be the xbox 360 along with shooters racers and drivers um no i said that wrong shooters racers and fighters thank you very much i almost messed that up but it's been a long day time travel will mess with the mind 
Um, I got to get up out of here. I want to thank you for stopping by and watching another great episode of Bowling on a Budget. Remember to check those links down at the bottom, whether you're on GetOlogic.org or on YouTube. I'm going to put them there as long as uh, the wonderful people at Google do not take off the linkage. Um, and I definitely want to say thank the people at Google for sending me that CR48, that Chromebook. Yeah, what's up, what's up, what's up. So, away we go. Thanks again for stopping by. Bowling on a budget, baby. Bowling on a budget, saving all the money. Bowling on a budget, saving all the money. All right, dude, I hit the 666. I'm still here, man. What the hell are you talking about? You might have made a mistake. I can't stay here. I got bills to pay. Come on, you, you're done. You said that I could just do this for the time period that we... Yo, son, come on. I can't... Yo, come on, man. I'm going to miss my Xbox 360, man. See, you messing with me. Why are you playing, man? Stop playing.